The reports that West Ham have extended Mikel Antonio's contract, what's the latest on that? Well, we've actually extended one or two contracts behind the scene, Katie, and uh, I would agree. Uh, I would say yes, that's right. We've done Mikel's contract about two months ago, so uh, but we've also done another couple of players, and we're going about our business quietly, uh, doing doing some things behind the scenes and trying to do things correctly. So, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Are you able to just confirm how long Mikel Antonio's contract is for? Well, we've got a few more players who, are con who sign contracts as well, so we've got a few. And uh, I'm sure the club will announce it, Katie, in, in, at the right time. Are you able to give us any ideas to who the other players might be? No, because I said that's why we're, that's, we're changing. We're trying not to do our business in public and we're trying to do our business in the, in the correct fashion if we can. And uh, you know, we're getting around one or two players at different times and, and renewing their contracts. So. Uh, we're pleased to have Mickey done, and uh, I'm sure the club will, will do something on it, Katie. Just looking ahead to the match on Sunday then, what's the latest team news ahead of league? Uh, like everybody else, we've got a few Covids. Uh, we've done very well uh, at present with it, but I'm sure like everybody else there's uh, one or two Covids around. But uh, other than that, we look forward to the game and try to get the players and everybody ready. And ahead of Leeds, are you going to use this as a chance to rotate and give an opportunity to others? Bearing in mind you face Leeds twice in a week. Uh, I might do. Not not really. Uh, not really sure yet what exactly we want to go. I think because the Premier League have put the game in on Wednesday night, that's changed the whole dynamics of of this FA Cup tie, uh, which is pretty disappointing. And just finally, what do you think it's going to take to beat Leeds and go through to the fourth round of the FA Cup? Uh, you need to play really well against Leeds. Leeds have got so many good things about them. I think the manager's done a, a good job over the, over time. And uh, every game against Leeds, as everybody, everyone's aware of, is uh, you no know, full tilt. You know, it's one end to the other. We need to try and make sure that when we get to their end, we score more goals than they do. So it's always a hard game against Leeds. Thanks very much, David. Thanks, Katie. Thanks, Katie. Jamie from Sky Sports. Recording in progress. Thanks very much, Dan. Good afternoon to you, David. Hi, Jimmy. Just to pick up on your comment to Casey there about it, it's disappointing, this rearranged game against Leeds. What's disappointing about it from your point of view? Because they need to be played sometime. Yeah, just from our point of view, I think that uh, this game could have been... We've only lost one game and it wasn't from our side, so we felt as if it could have been at a different date. But no problem, we've got it next Wednesday. It looks as if all the FA Cup games are going to go ahead this weekend, which is great. But there obviously are still cancellations in the league, left, right and centre. Do you think some teams are abusing or bending the rules, maybe waiting until they can make some signings or waiting until players come back from the Africa Cup of Nations or whatever reason it might be? I've no idea what any other clubs are doing, Jamie. I just know that we are, we've got our players ready. We've been prepared to play in every game so far this season. Thankfully, at this moment in time, it could change that we've been, we've been pretty good with COVID. We've got some... Covid in the camp, like everybody else, whether it be players or staff. So overall, we're we're trying to we're trying to play the games, and uh, you know, if we're asked to, we'll do so. Ralph Hasenhüttl suggested this morning that any clubs who sign players this month that obviously wouldn't have been available in December or November, mm -hmm. therefore they should be ineligible for the rearranged fixture as well. Is that something you would go along with? Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah. So do you think some clubs maybe are trying to get games postponed, sign a few players, and then they'll be stronger for the rearranged game? No, not necessarily. Quite often you sign players and it doesn't make you stronger, James. There's no guarantee that bringing players in make you better. So, uh, But what I will say is that I think that uh, it's a good point. I think that, you know, to keep things as correct as it could be, teams might use the, the window to strengthen. Uh, maybe clubs who've missed three or four games might, might now bring a bigger squad in to try and cover for the probably for the, the difficulty that will be the fixtures. So that, would be, that wouldn't be correct because at the moment, you know, we've all got to deal with, with the same things. We've got injuries like everybody else and uh, we have to deal with that. And just on the transfer market, and I appreciate you saying you don't want to do your business publicly, you want to do it the right way. But Jesse Lingard is kind of in the same position as he was 12 months ago now, where he's obviously out of favour at Manchester United. He's a hero to West Ham fans and we know how well it went last year. Is that a deal you would be interested in doing if it, if it presented itself? 
Well, again, I wouldn't talk about players at other clubs, Jamie, because it's wrong to do so. Jesse's a Manchester United player and it's not for me to, to, to talk about him. But he done a brilliant job for us last year and uh, we really appreciate everything he done. He played great in the games. Uh, he helped us qualify for Europe last year. So we're thankful for, for what Jesse done. Just one final one from me, David. And it was confirmed this week that Ed Woodward will be leaving Old Trafford at the end of the season. A lot of people feel as if you weren't treated particularly well at Manchester United. Do you have any words with him as he departs the club? No, I... I uh... You know, I've got no, I don't hold any grudges. I'm, you know, I just look back in a, in a great time at Man United. I learned so much in the, in the short period of 10 months I was there. That would be the disappointing thing for me. But overall, you know, I look back at uh, the difficulty Manchester United have had in my time, but in other, other very good managers' time. So it wasn't easy. And Ed was new to the job as well. So we were both relatively new to, to the new position. So, no, don't don't have any problems it's a great football club great traditions and uh, you know I wish them well thanks Jamie thank you good luck at Sunday thanks Jamie Cheers. thank you Emma at BBC hi Emma good afternoon David hello let's talk FA Cup shall we um, first game in the FA Cup for this season as a manager who's played in this competition so often um, how do you approach the first game do you approach it with optimism do you think we can win this trophy this year I think in the first game you play, you, you go in and hope that you get through. I think the more you get through and it, it becomes uh, more realistic, it's an obvious thing to say, Emma, but I think we've, got, we've been given a tough first round draw. But in saying that, you know, in the, in the Carabao Cup, we had Man United and Manchester City in those games before we got Tottenham. So we've had a real tough, tough go in the Cups. But we've done well in those games. We hope we can do well against Leeds United. Mark Noble has spoken about growing up in a a household full of West Ham fans who've spoken to him about West Ham's history in this competition and he says it would mean a huge amount to him to you know finish his last season as a player with an FA Cup. Oh, well it would it would make me smile and make me happy if we could do it as well him I've got to say uh, look it's it's at this point you probably everybody's probably asking all the managers the same questions you know do you want to win the FA Cup of course I want to win the FA Cup uh, I'm going to do everything I can to do that but overall you know all the other managers are answering it the same they all want to do it as well so the competition starts now we've been given a real difficult draw in the first game uh, the good thing is that we're at home that's the, the, the benefit and there is there is no replay so uh, hopefully we can use London Stadium and their support to, to help us get over the line I was going to ask about that. No replays in this round or the fourth round. How, how do you feel about that? And as you say, it, it kind of gives you home advantage, doesn't it? Well, I think uh, it's a good thing that there is no replays because the, the, the fixture list is what we've got at the moment. Replays would make things so difficult for, for many clubs. Uh, you know, so I'm glad, I'm glad there isn't a replay. But again, I, you know, I'm not in the Carabao uh, Cup semi-finals, but I'm also not quite sure that they should have two leg semi-finals either for the clubs because it's adding on another fixture when there was opportunities to, to maybe get that played at a neutral venue and, and play out one games. But uh, again, that's only my opinion. Finally for me, you've spoken in the past about your admiration for Bielsa. Can you explain what you, what you like about him as a manager? I've admired him for so long. Uh, I used to watch his teams when he was at Bilbao and I remember going to Old Trafford to watch them beat Manchester United in a, I think it was a Champions League game or a Europa League game and uh, I actually you know, I, I sort of based one of my team's performances on, on what I'd saw watching him there I just think that he's unique I think there's a lot of things he does uh, which is different and I think the Premier League needs different styles different managers uh, different systems and I think he brings that and I think what he brings to the Premier League is is an excitement the way they play and uh, I think Leeds have been a really good watch over the last two to three years.